With a number of road rage shootings in North Texas over the past few weeks, we want to know what you should do if you find yourself in that situation. Or better yet, what you should do if you're actually the driver who's angry. Here's Kennedy Walker with some answers. Hot tempered drivers, we've all seen them and maybe even had a scary encounter with one. Just last week, we told you about a Hearst woman that was fatally shot in the head after her husband says they were in a road raid incident. In last month, a Dallas man was shot by an irate driver on Central Expressway. Bullet holes pierced through his truck, his finger having to be surgically reattached after being hit. Statewide, AAA reports more than 1,600 crashes were the result of road rage in 2022. Incidents range from fights to crashes, shootings, and can even be deadly. So what should you do if you find yourself in a scary and dangerous road rage situation? Fort Worth police say don't engage, meaning don't look at them, honk, or even try to speak to them. Do your best to get away from the scene, uh, get out of their way, and if they're following you, go to a police station or a populated area. Call 911 if you feel threatened, and most importantly, stay calm. If you're calm, you're going to be able to think more clearly and make a rational decision. And it's also important to re remember that if you're in a road rage incident, you're in a several thousand pound vehicle barreling down the road. So if you make a panic decision, you may get away from that person, but you may cause a wreck or, or cause some other kinds of injury. So it is important to make good decisions. But what to do if you find yourself getting heated behind the wheel? Dr. Ken Jones, a licensed clinical social worker, says to take a breath and remember nothing is more important than your life. We want to arrive at our destination safe. We want to come back home safe to our loved ones. And it's just not worth it in these quick moments of frustration for us to interact in an unsafe manner that, you know, oftentimes can have disastrous results. This is what Dr. Jones says you can do. Don't make eye contact and do not engage. When you're feeling yourself getting upset, just forget it and move on and recognize that what happened most likely was not personal. Now, following Dr. Jones and Fort Worth PD's advice could potentially save your life. In Fort Worth, Kennedy Walker, CBS News, Texas.